quarter of the Queensland State League Netball Grand Finals. Here we go everyone. Make sure you're as loud as you can be for your team. In the grand final, 11 goals the margin. Wildcats need to do something and they need to do it now, Paula. And that's not the way you do it. So <laughs> <laughs> you really need to, you know, they needed to be confident. They needed to go short and sharp on that one and play it. Well, yeah, they got it back, so here we go. Create some chaos. Do something. Uh, this, uh, we, it would be a shame to see it blow out. The Cougars are just so good at this. I mean, Cougars have been dominant all year, um, but I, 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 want, I like a close game. Yeah. Not when I'm coaching. But no. sitting here, I want a close game, so I want it back in. Oh, you're loving this. I mean, you, you, you don't have to. You've got, you could do all this without all the stress. Well, that's right. I'm <laughs> loving it. <laughs> no, it's always good to be in a grand final. I yeah. mean, I'm sure you'd love coach. to be one of the people we were interviewing before the match. I would loved it. Yeah. 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 A few weeks ago, I would have loved to have been there. That's why I'm not doing it next year, Darren. I'll, we will be making the grand final. Yeah. That's the end of it. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. 46-35. Just 14 minutes left in the 2011 Queensland State Netball League Grand Final. Being brought to you by Gilbert, our ball sponsor, Kedron Wavell Services Club, the Carina Leagues Club, Yellow Cabs and McDonald's. And not to mention the Logan City Council who have gotten behind the Logan Wildcats and we're also playing in their lovely stadium. That's right, it is a beautiful stadium here, Darren. Um so great to see Logan City Council uh, coming on board with the netball. Uh, and it's been a great netball season in the State League this year. Some of the young girls have really proved themselves and um, I, I can only see it getting stronger. Beautiful move by Rosalie at the top and a lovely feed. Nice hole by Larissa as well. And she finishes it off and says thank you. And we're back to Cougars and to the centre. It's interesting too this year, Paula, where we're actually seeing the competition stand on its own because of the way the scheduling has been this year with rep, yeah. rep and everything like that. Holden Chris Cup finishing early. Uh, tell you what, the crowd's in for them. I mean, it's a full, virtually a full house here today. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, the crowd, it, crowd is very good tonight. I mean, um, we try to publicise a little bit more. Queen's Netball's done a really good job to try and um, ensure everyone's there. But it's one thing that's good is getting the support. The Wildcats being in there more in their home ground area. Oh, nice work by Nicole Theron. Oh, was she ripped on that one, Darren. I thought that was beautiful. But the umpire getting different angles, Darren, might see different things. <laughs> <laughs> and only half of the sport they can see too, yeah. <laughs> as we discussed in the whole Chris Cup grand final. Got to do something about that law. We've got to change yeah, it. That's right. You know, if one umpire sees something that the other doesn't, they should be allowed to call it. Yeah. I, um, I reckon they should anyway. <laughs> Umpires like to have their say too, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, I, I think, to be fair to the umpires, they're only calling the laws that are written for them. And I'm sure someone with, with Di Cocker's experience, something like that, I'd be surprised if they were against doing that. Yeah, oh, that's right. I mean, especially if something, you know, obvious happens or, yeah. uh, you know, earpiece and everything. But... I would not um, umpire at all, Darren. That's why I took up coaching at 18 because I was not going to umpire through the season. So uh, I congratulate the umpires on their jobs. Yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty lonely existence, really, isn't it? Oh yeah, wouldn't like it. Would not like it. Oh, beautiful oh, by Maddie. Yes, nice work. I would like to see more of that kid. Actually, I reckon she's doing a beautiful job. Oh, they can't lose it now. All right, taking a look at shooting stats for the third quarter. Jemison Power, 12 from 14. Lauren Todd, 4 from 6. They shot 80% as a team. And uh, Brody Boyer, 4 from 5. And Larissa Hughes, 10 from 13, as Karen Logan was moved out of that position. Shooting at 76% in the Premiership quarter. That hurts. 
Yeah, it does hurt. I mean, I know with Hillary, she wants nothing less than 80. She preferred mid-80s from the players. And she said, basically, if you're going to be in this competition, you've got to be up there doing it. Oh, not too sure what that call was. Must have been a step. As Lauren passes. They've had a few changes too. Nicole Theron has come back in at um, goalkeeper um, with Lucy uh, going off the court. And that was it um, with the Wildcats in that quarter. And Cougars have not made any changes. They've kept their same team on for the full game. These players have done a really good job and that's where they want to finish it. Yeah, and rightly so. If you've got a, you've got a group of girls out there that are doing the job, well, there's basically Let there's, no, the there's no turnsies in this league. That's yeah. it. It's yeah. um, they started off with the team. They're doing it, so <laughs> let them finish. I like that turnsies. I haven't heard that in years. Oh, <laughs> mate, I hate turnsies. <laughs> you don't play turnsies in this league. That's it. Fair enough. 53 to 39. The score. 10 minutes left in the 2011 Queensland State Netball League Grand Final. The Cougars are just dominant in this Grand Final. Everyone knew they were going to be dominant, um, but I think everyone was just hoping grand finals might bring out different things and Wildcats yep. is out there. And Wildcats, I tell you, they, they stayed with them. It's a shame that they're just a few, f five minutes probably in the third quarter and, you know, a minute here, a minute there, and that's when Cougars will come and stomp on you. Two arms, two legs, grey matter between the ears. It comes down to preparation, doesn't it? Oh, yes. I mean, Cougars are one thing too, very fit. Um, they do have a nice players. I mean, they bring it up from the juniors. Um, there's a lot of state players that come out of um, Brisbane North area. So um, and by the time they start to hit the state league, yes, it's a young team, but when you have a look on court, um, I'm just trying to have a quick look here now. I think everyone's made state except for one, but she was like a state indoor player anyway. So everyone that's on court has um, made a state team one way or another. It's a popular sport at the moment too, indoor. We're finding um, a lot of the girls are playing it. Is that, do you think, a product of the fact that there's such a short season in the, in the traditional game? No, I mean, indoor's always been there. Um, sometimes girls like to do it just for um, a bit more experience. Some enjoy the, um, the social aspect. This yep. is a, a great social aspect in indoor. Um, and it's good to see, yeah, that they can still play two leagues and some girls just want to play netball all year round, so that's what they do. <laughs> Why not? Yes. I actually thought this year, this year, the possibility of a summer league might have been um, something that should have been looked at simply because it was such a short season. I mean, if we look at the ANZ Championship, oh, it's going to be close to an 11 month break. That's right. That was just, sorry, Darren, that was beautiful by Maddie again around, around the circle. Nice work there from Rosa. Oh, nice work by Charlotte Goodwin. It's becoming an impenetrable wall, isn't it, for the Cougars? I mean, the Cougars are just stopping the ball back there in their defence and then just having another drive into attack. Oh, that's right. I mean, to have um, Jess Ritchie and Charlotte, you know, wing defence, goal defence on that line, I mean, Jess Ritchie is one that's got beautiful elevation. Um, she sticks with the player. And same with Charlotte Goodwin. I mean, she does a really good job. Well, the crowd did not like that call. I have <laughs> And they like the, the rebound off Nicole Theron. Let's hope that the Wildcats can now finish this off. Uh, Judy from Bowen says, Go Gemma Power. Bowen Netball loves your work. We love it too, Judy. <laughs> <laughs> Good, work. For... Good work, Judy. Make sure you tell your friends to get on there as well. Thanks for all the kind comments. Keep, uh, keep them coming. Jump on Netball Queensland's Facebook site. Danielle, thanks very much for your kind words. We're enjoying bringing it to you. <laughs> that was a nice take by Larissa. Larissa's actually come on quite strong in this second half. It's just Wildcats that's having that little bit of trouble getting it down there. Yeah. Thanks again too to Tanya. Glad you're loving the streaming. <laughs> well done, Tanya. Long again. See, this this is what they do, Paula. This is what they do. They do it in the Holden Cruise Cup too. They hold off on doing this until usually the last quarter. But long passing into the, into attack. Yeah, that's just confidence with them now. Yeah. I mean, one thing I like with Cougars in both teams, um, their so timing coming down court. Here we go, big one. Oh, she used the post. And the umpire saw that too. Is she going to advance that penalty? No. Actually, the umpires have done a really good job tonight too, Darren. I mean, I, we haven't spoke about it much because we haven't really noticed it much. And to me, if you don't notice an umpire, that means they've done a great job. 
Absolutely, and we should say, Lindsay Smith, we talk about die a lot because she's probably the most high-profile umpire we have in Queensland uh, because she's always there, isn't she? Oh, she's always all, the there for years. But she's Lindsay Smith there. has done a great job on the other side as oh, well. Oh, that's right. I mean, they've handled the situation nicely. There hasn't been, um, you know, maybe one or two bad Oh, I shouldn't say bad calls. Um, different calls than what I would have thought of, but... I tell you now, if a player can only do one or two mistakes in a whole game, you would have had an unreal player. So I'm just going to say, Paula, you're still a coach. You're still a coach. So Always a coach. Yeah, that's right. So be nice <laughs> no, <laughs> the umpires. No, I was just meaning that two, of course you were. Of course two, you were. two different calls than what I thought. Yeah. I mean, if that's it for the whole game, that's, a, that's an excellent umpiring. It is, isn't it? I no, mean, it is. They're doing a great job. Doing a great job. Oh, nice take off, Maddie. It was a nice try off Haley, but uh, Maddie was nice and strong in the air. And she held that ball and was not going to let go. Yeah, and we'll have a break now while uh, we get a, someone out there with a towel and uh, just wipe off the court. We haven't had that tonight. We so. haven't had much at all, so it's been nice hard nipple. Okay, we get restarted. Wildcats looking for an opening in attack. Oh, no, nice work from Henna. Really liked how Henna's played tonight. I hope that she, um, you know, plays again next year and goes for the HCC again because that, I think she's been missed there as well. That's almost been the story of the last half an hour, really, hasn't it? The last half an hour, the last quarter and a half, two quarters. Um, it's been so difficult for them to for the Wildcats to penetrate that defence. Oh, that's right. It's um, And one thing that's getting hard now... As, as you said, the long ball that's coming down the court from Cougars, one thing that a circle defence does not want... Oh, nice try, Nicole. It's worth having a go. Uh, one thing that circle defenders do not want is to see the ball come down 100 miles an hour because you haven't got a chance. You need your teammates to slow that down. You're watching Netball Queensland's exclusive coverage of the 2011 Queensland State Netball League Grand Final. There are just nice four pass. minutes left in the match. And the score is now 61 to 43. That was in a favour beautiful, of the Cougars. Beautiful pass by Matty. A nice move by Larissa into the circle as well. Oh, luck is just going their way. So Jemison tips the ball, hits the post, and she gets it. That was a nice patient move um, by Wildcats. Just need to finish that off. And oh, nearly a rebound by Brody. Nice work, Hannah. Uh, there was a bit of a step that happened. Um, that's what the crowd is yelling out, so. Nice defense there by Nicola Mika and a beautiful feed by Bronte Oriel. Oh, there's a contact pulled by uh, Michaela O'Connor and a nice shot by Jemison. The score now is 63 to 43 to Cougars. And a nice shot by Lauren Todd. So it's Wildcats Centre, 64 to 43. And they've got to start to move that ball down the court. Turnover for Cougars. Two minutes left. 64-43 to the Cougars. The, well, that's the Wildcats uh, fan club that's happening there. <laughs> we could have used them about half an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, I mean, they're just appreciating that the Wildcats are going, going and going to the end. I mean, there's not much you can do with the minute 50 to go. Yeah. When you're 22 goals down, but to, to finish finish strong, hold your head up high because you did make yeah you did make the grand final. So finish it. Yeah. 22 nice. goals the margin. Nice outlet by uh, Michaela O'Connor. Wildcats just need to finish those ones off. I mean the defence have gotten a few rebounds there. Nice work, Mika. Too bad as she's just having a go at anything now, so which is really good to see.
Looks like Cougars are going to be taking it out again, Darren. Absolutely. Both grades, Holden Cruise Cup and the Queensland State Netball League Grand Final. We will be crossing to the presentation at the end, uh, you'll hear. And uh, let's go through those quickly through those nominees again for the Queensland State Netball League MVP. Tanya Hillier from the Tigers, Hannah Johnson from the Cougars, Hayley Gordon also from the Cougars, Danita Staines from the Thundercats from Wide Bay, Lauren Todd from the Cougars, and in the... Uh, Holden Cruz Cup, Jade Fiscalini from the Jaguars, Monique French from the Yellow Cabs Lions, Selena Hirsch from the Logan Wildcats, Lara Nielsen from the Cougars, and Katie Walker, the evergreen Katie Walker from the Karina Lees Club Tigers. Well, Darren, out of the last seven um, grand finals from 2004 to 2010, Cougars have been in every single one of them, and they've won four out of seven. So it's not a bad statistic. So now out of eight, that's five out of eight grand finals. Yeah. Not bad. Less than 20 seconds left in the grand final. The margin is 22 goals. 66 to 44 to the Cougars. The Wildcats fighting to the end gallantly. And that's it. We have a winner. The Kedron Wavell Services Club. Cougars are the winners of the Queensland State Netball League for 2011. 22 goal margin, 66 to 44. It was quite an amazing finish to the match, Paula. The last quarter, quarter and a half, they just turned it on. Yes, they did. I mean, um, Cougars just went up another level and Wildcats just probably couldn't match it up with them there. So one thing I do like about Cougars is their timing down court, um, the angles and just driving in nice and hard. But they, just to believe that they got it with each other and they've all got a job to do and they did it well tonight. Okay, once again, a big thanks to our sponsors, Gilbert, Kedron Wavel Services Club, the Logan City Council, Karina Leagues Club, Yellow Cads and McDonald's. We'll catch up with you again soon. Let's cross to our Master of Ceremonies, Jamie Giddens.